Hello, hello. So if you are here, you decided to extend your Saint palette. So this is part two to the first video I have, and I'm gonna show you a few extra items that you may have purchased and how to use them. So I have my Saint palette here. I have a bronzer, I have an illuminator, I have a setting powder and a few eyeshadows. So I'm gonna show you how to apply those. So right now I already have my main highlight on, my contour, my blush, and my brightener shade. So everything is on my face um, that was in the first video and I'm gonna go right into the bronzer. So bronzer is gonna be different than the contour. Contour is a ashy shade that's going to chisel and define your face. Bronzer is gonna give you a nice warm glow. Bronzer also is very sheer. It doesn't have coverage like the contours do. So the contour makes up the foundation and then this is just a little bonus. So I'm gonna go into my blush and bronzer brush. By the way, if you haven't noticed that this brush and the bronzers actually come in a bundle, so make sure you snag that. Um, the bronzer you just put, I actually put on the fluffy side of this brush and a little bit goes a long way. I'm using Bella, which is my tried and true, but we do have three other shades as well. So I'm just gonna place this, my contour is here and my blush is here, and I'm just gonna place this where the sun would naturally hit my face. So if you're looking outside, you're basically going to get hit by the sun here and here, and then probably on your chest. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna place that right over kind of that blush, and I'm just gonna blend that into the tops of my cheeks there. And then I'm always leaving out the center area, basically around my whole face. So I'm creating this um, brightness. I'm creating this fake line between my nose and my eye here. That's going to stay bright. And then also you want to make sure that this up here stays bright too. So I'm just placing this bronzer on the outside, like by my hairline. And then I like to just bring this down my neck as well, just to add a little extra glow. And then if my chest is open um, with a different shirt, I'll just place it on like my collarbones. And that's it with the bronzer. So the next step would be your illuminator, which in regular makeup world, this is called highlighter. And I'm just going to use my finger for this. And this is a cream, and we're just going to place this on the high points of our face. So this is going to bring a nice radiance to your skin, a nice youthful glow from within. So I'm placing this on my high points of my cheek. You just feel your face and find that. And I'm just going to dab that right in, kind of towards the outside of my face. And then if you have more mature skin, you can actually bring that down just a little bit because you don't want this to be in your fine lines because this is kind of giving a nice like appearance and you want to make sure that those fine lines aren't getting this noticed. <laughs> so I also like to place this. Um, down the center of my face. So I like to put it on the tip of my nose here and then a little bit on the bridge of my nose right here and then above my lip on the cupid's bow as well. You can also place this on your brow bone and then with the illuminators, we do have a powder version as well. The powders um, pack a little more punch. So if you're new to illuminators, I would stick with creams and we have four versions of the creams and four versions of the powder. So that is that. We also actually have this in a perfume as well. It's set in this pretty rose gold and it has a nice little scent. So I like to place it on the collarbones, you can place it on your wrist and then also use it as your illuminator. So the next step would be a setting powder. If you receive that, that is just gonna set your face. Ours is um, fine milled and it is um, pressed. So there's also loose and setting spray. We actually don't own a loose setting powder, but ours is very finely milled and it's great for mature skin. So I actually like to use my eyeshadow brush for this. And I'm just gonna go in just a little bit and a little bit is all you really need for your setting. And I like to set the under eyes. You can basically put, put this anywhere you'd like. Um, this is also gonna mattify your look. So if you're not into this dewy look, then this will mattify it and give you that matte look. So a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna look up because I'm gonna um, set my crease here and a few of those fine lines. So if I look up, that means I can make sure that this is getting into those areas and it'll set the, the flat versus setting the wrinkled. So I'm gonna look up and I'm placing this kind of in a pie shape right underneath my eyes. In a loose hand with this, I'm using our eyeshadow brush. And then so this eye is set and this is not. Going in again, looking up to make sure that crease is being set. And then I will bring the rest down. So again, if you um, are on the phone a lot or something like that, you can set on your jawline here. I like to just make sure it's kind of chiseling out that contour. And then of course, if your T-zone gets oily, you can bring a little bit right there. Because it's so finely milled, it's great for um, the mature skin. And that's it. So that's the setting powder. I use my eyeshadow brush. You can really use any brush for that. And then now you probably got some eyeshadow. So I'm actually using two different ones. I have a matte and I have a shimmer. And this matte, is called Trust, and it's actually a great eyeshadow for your brows too. So if you are um, on the darker side, darker hair, I probably recommend a Trust for your eyeshadow. If you're more blonde, probably went with like oak or something along that end. So for that, you can use our line brush. And I'm just dipping in a little bit into Trust, and I'm just going to use these nice little flicks. And I'm just gonna fill in my brow.
And then I'm gonna go back into my eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of truss on the fluffy side. And I'm just gonna warm up the outer edge of my eye here. And the trick for eyeshadows is just keeping it lifted as well. It's stay, staying in that line. We're going to bring everything towards our temple. So once you start drooping these eyeshadows down below your eye, it's going to make you um, look a little more aged. So we want to keep everything lifted and light and airy. So a little bit goes a long way with our eyeshadows. They're highly pigmented. So really play around. And if you have this eyeshadow brush, it really does make blending and applying super, super easy. So I'm just putting trust almost everywhere. Really light. I'm going to flip our brush around and I'm going to bring trust on my lower lash line right here. And then I have a shimmer here called Riviera. It's one of our newer ones. And I'm using my finger just to get a more pigment on, but you can definitely use your brush. This is such a pretty color. All right, blending that out. And that's it for my compact. If you added a few more items, you can always message me and I can help you walk through each one of those. If you've got our brow wax, this would be the time that you can put that in your brows. It comes just like this. And let me actually open it up for you, I'll show you. You would take your setting spray or even some water and you would actually put it on the spoolie of your brush rub it in and then you're just going to bring your brows up and that will keep them in place all day long it's so great and then another extra that you might have gotten was a setting spray so our setting spray is amazing it lasts forever super hydrating and it actually works so just a few sprays kind of up and down and across is all you need and you are set for the day if you have any questions please reach out to me i hope this was helpful and i'll talk to you guys later